welcome viewers to your you and them reading. Um, first, I'd like to start off by announcing the winner of the um, free reading giveaway that I did two weeks ago. So through a random drawing, the winner is Dr. L. Zara. So that's A-L-X-A-H-R-A, Dr. L. Zara. So Dr. L, get in contact with me. You can email me. My contact information is in the description box below. We'll get you your free 15-minute video recorded private reading. They'll be sent directly to the email that you provide, okay? Congratulations. So for the rest of you, I've got three um, choices tonight to choose from. The first choice is the vampire or emotional intelligence. Okay. The second choice is the witch, the earthly weaver of worlds. And the third choice is the skull of flowers, creating through the ashes creating through the ashes. So pause the video if you need more time. What you're wanna, gonna wanna do is close your eyes and take a deep breath in through the nose nice and slow and out through the mouth nice and slow. When you open your eyes, the first item or card that you see is usually the right choice, okay? Timestamps are in the description box below. And so what tonight's reading is going to be about is going to be a relationship spread for whoever you came here, whoever you're romantically interested in. We're going to look at um, your feelings for one another, your past, present, future, and outcome. Also, I'm going to um, pull my new, a few of my new sexual magic tarot cards so we can see how they view you sexually. And then a message from your person card as well so we can get a message from their higher self and any clarifying cards as needed. Let's get started. Welcome pile one. This is you and them. So I've shuffled off camera a few times. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Think about your person. What does pile one's person, what is their energy saying to them today? What's going on in their situation? Oh, okay. I like it. <laughs> I already like it. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Imps, and the Eight of Imps is the Eight of Wands. It talks about passion and fast communication. Okay, it's also a, a card about action, as the Wands are about action. So let's see what's going on here. This is that represents the underlying energy of this reading. So the card coming out to represent you is the Knight of Ghosts. So this is your energy towards the connection, and what you're wanting is to offer something, um, offer your affection, offer your attention. You want to communicate with this person, and you want to offer them your love, essentially. This is the Knight of Ghosts, or the Knight of Cups, so, um, you know, that's a water sign energy. That could be in your chart, um, doesn't have to be. But this is all about communication and, and traveling towards someone, wanting to be flirtatious with someone. And, um, yeah. It, it does indicate, you know, a change. You'd like to see a change in this connection. Um, perhaps you'd like to go on a get a getaway with this person where it can be just the two of you. You'd like to be alone with them. But um, whatever, you know, offer or invitation that you would either like to give to this person as, as you are showing up as the knight here. Um, but this could also mean that you're wanting to receive it. Whatever it is, it's something, you know, Something dreamy and romantic might not exactly be practical or doable at this time with this card. But um, your heart's in the right place here. And just remember to keep your feet on the ground with this card. And I feel that you feel this is an exciting romance with this person. And that you just really would enjoy yourself um, to be in their company and, and, to, and to connect with them. Okay, One or both of you might be artistic here. So that's your energy towards the connection. And your person, person's energy towards the connection is the Knight of Pumpkins. So another Knight coming out. This card represents Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, so it's an Earth sign energy. And so there is a similar energy here with Knights being about communication or travel or delivering of an offer or a message they feel similarly towards you. 
Well, you have a dreamy and romantic air about you with regard to this connection. There is a more practical approach from this person and also a slower approach to this person. So they want to take their time and go slow with regard to reaching out to you. This is, um, you know, positive in the sense that this knight is um, steadfast and loyal, you know, and um, maybe a little bit too slow. <laughs> A little bit too slow to, to get things to get the ball rolling but it, this person might not be a particularly flashy person or a very adventurous but um, they are generally described as dependable so any offer that they would come towards you with would be a dependable offer and that's why it takes them longer sometimes to get things right because they're making sure that what they have to offer is actually substantial and worthwhile and can go the distance. This is an, a, a determined energy here. This person shows de determination with regard to this connection. And um, like I said, they're, they're steadfast. So um, I feel that they, you know, they offer stability and, and loyalty, practicality in this connection. And, um, you know, once they are involved with someone, they are committed to that person. Also, I think this person is probably working on their money or their finances. As the um, pumpkins or pentacles are about money and finances, security, and financial security. So that's a consideration from their point of view regarding this connection, too. Your feeling towards this person is the ni knight, nine, sorry, nine of ghosts. So more water energy. Nine of ghosts in reverse. So, um, you might be self-medicating a tad take what resonates this person driving you crazy taking so long that um, you're trying to distract yourself overindulge in something um, you know perhaps you do have um, money or resources and you're a little bit smug about it that could apply for a few I think that you know either you or this person have had um, some errors or mistakes that have been revealed or going to be revealed regarding the connection. Um, and it could be you know regarding something that you attained and how you got it, it might not have been in the most straightforward way. Uh, of course, you know if this is vice versa, take it that way. But this is what I'm getting, and in some cases, it you know shows turning away from the material world to become more spiritual. Okay. So, um, you know, there, there's a degree of frivolousness or, um, you know, kind of like not taking things too seriously with this card here. Um, it can indicate some, um, some insens insensitivity or even like having multiple partners um, or, or love interests that you're interested in. But if that's not the case, it again is talking about some, some mistake that's coming um, to the surface. You might be expecting that to happen, you know, either some mistake that you've made to come to the surface or that this other person, you're waiting for them, uh, their mistakes to be revealed. So that is what I'm getting there. And your person's uh, feelings towards you, the magician. So the magician upright is a very positive card. They are trying to manifest this connection. They're using all the um, resources at their disposal to, to draw you in. And so this is a Gemini in Virgo energy that could be in someone's chart, might be a special message for someone, but the magician is, you know, about magic and hidden power and listening to their inner guidance. I feel like there, you know, it's a spiritual connection with this card coming up here. We did see that there is a spiritual link between the two of you with the nine of ghosts in reverse as well. Um... I think, yeah, this person does see beneath the, the surface of things. So with regard to you, um, they probably uh, are more on to your motives than, you know, than you realize. Um, whatever those motives may be, good or bad, okay? And, um, yeah, this person is just standing in their power with regard to you. And they, they might be seeing you as a magician, somebody that can, you know, just a magical person um, that that is powerful in, in, in your own right. But um, I also feel that they, they look at themselves that way and or have those traits themselves, and that's why they're attracted to you. But with this card coming out, as their feelings towards you, I think they are viewing you as a goal or their desire. And, um, 
you know, for a couple of you, there might be the use of magic here with regard to manifesting this connection. Um, so it definitely does speak of a spiritual path together where you would encourage and inspire one another, okay? In the past position between the two of you, we have the Emperor. So this is a major arcana card. So that's, um, that's heavy universal energy. It's got a sense of fate or destiny when any of the um, major arcana cards come out. And this is also a card that represents Aries. So that could be in somebody's chart. Certainly the traits are present. So between the two of you, you know, material success um, was a, a cornerstone of the connection as you're both showing up as knights. Um, this does speak about, you know, being on the move and there is ambitiousness associated with the knights moving towards something, towards their desired, you know, working um, hard. And that is also what the emperor is saying here as well. It's about worldly power. Um, the emperor upright is generally somebody that just wants the best for everyone. They can be a bit controlling, but it's, you know, as long as they're in a positive energy, that controllingness isn't a problem. It can't, you know, if they're in a bad mood or coming from a lower vibration, well, then they can be a little tyrannical, but um, I'm not really getting that as much. Of course, take what resonates here, but I feel that the masculine in this connection is a protective male figure who, you know, likes to teach and, um, and sort of manage the people around um, him f for the good of everybody. Cause also, could also relate to, you know, a father figure. Perhaps you perceive this masculine as a father figure or your father figure or their father figure played a prominent role in the past regarding the connection. But it does, um, as a relationship, symbolize a mature and stable relationship where practical concerns like money and um, status were, were the focal point. A little bit more than passion here is what this card is saying. So it does indicate a loyalty um, and commitment in a partnership, though. So let's, let's see what happened here. Evidently, there was some indiscretion that was indicated earlier. Perhaps that's part of um, any conflict that might be occurring, but let's look further. At present, we've got the hanged man in reverse. So the hanged man um, upright is somebody who is going within. They're sort of stagnating, not moving, going within, trying to uh, gain some enlightenment or a better perspective, see things from a different um, standpoint in order to know what to do, in order to know, you know, the best, best path to take. But... Um, in in reverse, it's about, you know, being at a crossroads and not being able to make a decision. So one or both of you are sort of swinging in the breeze here and not being able to make a decision in order to move forward. You know, you both need to spend time in spiritual development. I'm getting the sense that this is a spiritual connection. And so you probably are engaging in some spiritual development here. At least you are. Um, but uh, your, your person may not be willing to if they're coming out in an emperor energy or a um, king of pumpkins. King of pumpkins is very practical, down to earth. Sometimes um, think that, you know, spirituality is a little bit woo-woo for them, you know. So, um, but they would really need to um, connect with the spiritual aspect of your connection in order to move this forward, I feel. And pay attention to their real needs instead of, you know, so much on superficial needs like money or, you know, status, things, stuff like that. So, um, one or both of you might be sacrificing and unnecessarily here or not being able to, uh, see matters clearly within your connection might be hung up about something. There is an indication that someone isn't being true to themselves entirely here. And, um, it does say that, you know, um, you being hung up on someone, it can for a couple of you being hung up, mean being hung up on somebody who doesn't return your affection, but I don't see that in the in this reading in particular. I do think it's more about um, needing to um, get on the same page and figure out a way to honor your needs and desires at the same time that you're honoring the other person's needs and desires and work out a situation that is fair to the both of you um, and stop over-sacrificing as they feel that one is giving more than the other here in this connection. There might could be talking about a, a bad habit or a bad behavior that's um, not good for the relationship that one or both of you needs to give up. And we did see that the nine of ghosts came out in your energy towards or feelings towards this person. So maybe you're viewing this person this way. Um, but this is a card about overindulgences. So those need to go. And at present, I feel that through spirituality, for for some of you, um, you are overcoming 
overcoming those um, tendencies. Okay. So in the future position, we have the Queen of Bats in reverse. This is an air sign energy that is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Queen of Bats in reverse is not a happy camper, though. This is, um, you know, in your future position. So I think, you know, there's some obstacles ahead that are still going to need to be dealt with here. Um, it's not all going to be, you know, 100% smooth sailing, but nothing worth having ever is. I feel like somebody feels trapped in the connection going forward or still unable to speak their truth here. Um, so a little bit of a disappointment is indicated or that your hopes didn't manifest the way that you wanted them to. Perhaps this person is trying to manifest their hopes and they don't manifest the way that they want them to regarding you. Um, yeah, or at least not, you know, exactly. So, um, I think maybe this person feels like they haven't been given a chance to, you know, show their stuff and, or, um, you know, that what they're getting is, is not, um, is not enough. Like, um, they're getting a puny piece of the pie, so to speak. Like they're not getting enough. Um, if it's the other way around, take it the other way around. But there is a sense of someone not being able to move beyond a loss uh, or that their emotions are interfering with their, um, with their judgment here. So, whatever this disappointment is um, that occurred in the connection that's going to come to light or has come to light, there is some bitterness with regard to this going forward. Um, and, and so, you know, you might be tempted to swear off relationships or isolate yourself or this person might be tempted to do that, particularly, you know, if there is some um, cheating or promiscuity here. But um, the Queen Reverse also shows an um, overly critical and inflexibility here. So, um, I do think there's a tad bit of cooling of affection in the future until the two of you can get on the same page and communicate honestly with one, one another and also, you know, forgive the situation, whether you plan on continuing, you know, I don't know what happened that caused the bitterness, but if you plan on continuing the connection, then forgiveness needs to take place, you need to move past it, okay? And we did see at the bottom of the deck that communication, passionate communication, was the other underlying theme of uh, the reading. So in the outcome, we have the Empress card. That is a Libra and Taurus energy, both earth and air. And um, this is a very positive outcome card. It is a major arcana card. And it is someone who, you know, this is indicating a nurturing female. So if you are, are the feminine, you're creative, you're um, going to be in your feminine power if you're not already being, you know, a mature woman, regardless of your age, perhaps, you know, artistic and creative. So this is an artistic, creative thing coming out again. And um, fertility. So, you know, if you're not wanting children, then be careful in that regard, because that is a card, one of the cards that talk about um, pregnancy and fertility. But this is a very caring person who likes to support others. And it can refer to somebody's mother. Um, and if you're the masculine watching this, it could talk to you about um, getting more in, more in touch with your feminine side, you know, a little bit. We all have both, so we want to be in balance in that regard. But regarding love, this is um, talking about in the outcome, having a mature, loving relationship based on mu mutual respect and trust and um, affection. It also, it also shows a powerful sexual connection here as well. And, and again, it can indicate a pregnancy or a desire for pregnancy. So I feel like you will work out your differences for the most of you and um, have this trust, you know, trustworthy, and affectionate, respectful relationship, particularly because we have the emperor and the empress. So these are counterparts, uh, very significant counterparts in tarot because these are major arcana cards. This is talking about uh, a higher level soulmate connection, perhaps twin flames. So... This is a very spiritual connection that was meant to happen. There are a lot of um, ups and downs, more so with uh, soulmates uh, of, of this of this level than in other types of relationship. So it's not surprising that we see some conflict or indiscretion, some things that need to be overcome within this connection with, with these two cards present. Even though it is very positive to have them both come out as it does speak to this being um, a significant connection that was meant to bring um, lessons into your life. They're very valuable, not only to you, but to the people around you, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and pull a message from your person, so think about your person here. 
Let's see if we can get a message from their higher self that resonates with the reading. I think about you daily. So this person is thinking about you daily as they are trying to manifest you. We saw that with the magician card. And they might be taking forever, but they do want you to know that they are thinking about you daily, even if it is taking them um, a while to um, connect with you, okay? Deliver you some sort of a message or an offer that's substantial enough that they feel that you would actually accept it or take them up on it. So now I'm going to pull um, a card from a couple cards from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Let's see if we can get some insight about um, how this person views you sexually, or at least the uh, nature of your sexual connection here. cards. Oh, the first card is the Ten of Cups, the beautiful Ten of Cups card. That is total emotional fulfillment. It's a very loving energy between the two of you. Although it does show a bit of distance and you trying to make that love offer, this person, um, if you look at the card, the masculine's kind of got his back to it, but he's still there. He's still in your courtyard. You still feel comfortable to offer them your love because you, you know, you sense the connection and the depth of the emotions here. And then we have the Empress. So the Empress came out twice in your reading. Beautiful. You are in your feminine power. You are in touch with your emotions. You're a very sensual creature, a very sexual creature. Your person sees you this way. They see you as the ultimate female, the ultimate partner. If you're a male, they see you as the ultimate partner. Someone that's very sexy and sensual, in touch with your feminine side to some degree. Yeah, it's too many. Just need one more, spirit. One more. And the magician, the magician came out <laughs> again. Okay, so this person's really trying to manifest you here, or you're trying to manifest each other, whatever the case may be. Um, so the, the Tarot of Sexual Magic has somewhat um, different meanings to the card, or additional meanings to the cards, um, as the uh, traditional tarot. So with the Empress... Um, for this particular deck, it's about an invitation. As you can see, she's offering um, she's offering him something. Can't really see what that is. It's um, also the magic of the alphabet card that says that the pre prerequisite of magic is thought. Um, once put into action, the idea generates reality. So you are manifesting this person. If this person is manifesting you, you are manifesting this person as well as what this card is saying. Or they are seeing you as sort of like a temptress. <laughs> Someone who uses their spirituality and manifestation skills to your advantage. Yeah. And so, with the Ten of Cups, we've got um, attachment, the magic of the of the chalice. So, okay, yeah. This is saying that the attachment between partners orients the relationship towards continuity and it is necessary to form a happy family. So yeah, there needs to be continuity or regularity in this connection. Um, 
there is, you know, the sense of instability or someone, you know, having their heads in the clouds with the um, Knight of Cups in reverse and the Knight of, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Uh, actually, it was the Knight of Cups was upright, but regardless, it's, you know, a little sense of not being grounded, whereas your person is coming across as grounded. So um, there does need to be some continuity in the connection, and perhaps this is why this person is turning away, even though there is great love and potential for a happy family and life together. Um, and, and a lot of emotions and emotional fulfillment, a lot of love in this connection, there just needs to be more continuity, is what that card is saying. And then with the magician in this deck, it is saying that, um, you know, this is about courtship. Uh, magic intention, desire is the drive behind a new story. Willingness and passion guarantee success. Oh, so there's definitely passion here in the future we did see you know a little cooling of that as you guys sort through your things but in the outcome we had the Empress so I feel that you will sort through with communication and fessing up to whatever it is that you need to fess up to or vice versa and the forgiveness that needs to take place and talking about your needs honestly and not giving too much making sure there's equal give and take between both partners there is um, going to be a courtship period in the connection where you are going to date and just enjoy each other's company and um, take it a bit slow and have a new story here, a successful story, okay, and a new beginning or new start or it's going to feel like it's new if you've been together for a while. Well, that's all I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. I was, I hope that was able to help you in some way. And if it was, please go ahead and comment in the comment section below. If um, it didn't resonate or it only partially resonated, you could try um, a different selection or you can get a personal reading. Uh, the contact information for that is also, and that's in the description box below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. You'll get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Okay, welcome to your you versus them reading. I shuffled the cards off camera. I'm going to shuffle them a couple more times. We're going to do um, the relationship spread where we look at your energies versus their energies, past, present, future, outcome, and future. At the end, I'm going to pull some sexual magic tarot cards. I just got those, so I want to use those. And I will clarify um, any cards that need to be clarified, perhaps pulling a message from your person card as needed throughout the reading, okay? So think about your person. It looks like this is a reading for people who are in separation. Um, but you may listen to the reading and see if there's any um, messages in here despite that fact, if you aren't in separation. Right now it does look like that, um, that you are in separation. We've got the five of wands in reverse. So this is talking about um, ego battles that have been overcome or overcoming of ego battles. Some people are trying to um, be diplomatic and have a conversation as opposed to just being petty and fighting. So, um, it, it does indicate that the overall energy here is sort of like um, a challenging circumstance where there's like old attitudes and uh, behaviors that need to be released. But like I said, compromise um, would fix all that. So there's a need for flexibility and a desire to resolve disputes. That's the underlying energy here. Less selfishness and, and more seeing from the other's point of view. Your energy is coming out as the two of ghosts. So... Um, you could have strong water in your chart, but don't have to. It's the Two of Cups, so it's about a mutual love um, and mutual respect. It is a honeymoon card, a, soul, a soulmate card, so um, it's really the uh, lover's card of the minor arcana. So it's about um, deep emotions, feeling connected. It's kind of the... Um, beginning stages of the romance where it's um, there's lots of infatuation or where somebody cannot do anything wrong. It's not to say that there isn't true emotions involved. It's just saying that's the energy that it has. It's really about a partnership, cooperation, harmony, and, um, and love. And this is how you're feeling towards this connection. It, it symbolizes a happy relationship. So if you don't have that, um, you know, that's what you're desiring and how you see this person you're here about and that you understand this person's needs and um, want to bring out the best in them. Okay. 
your person's energies towards the connection is the tower in reverse and the tower in reverse is like um, that's a Scorpio card so it could be in somebody's chart but doesn't have to be so what you know this is talking about um, sort of a, a sudden shock to the system this person is obviously going through something major right now it might be something that they were trying to um, prevent from happening but you know the tower is not really preventable so this is a major upset if um, you know they saw the signs but they just didn't uh, listen it's kind of the energy that you get from this card that they could have um, avoided disaster and I think that they are probably trying to avoid disaster but it's just not really working because there's a major lesson to be learned here about subduing the ego and being more grounded and what they've invested in hasn't really um, paid off for them because it wasn't built on a strong foundation so this person is needing to change old patterns but they're kind of refusing to do that so the universe has stepped in to, to do it for them and just like force this lesson on them because they are resisting making changes in this love connection and so those changes are being thrust upon them by the universe so yours may be um, a sudden affair something that happened quickly maybe they just you know met you and they felt these um, this electricity these deep emotions for you that overwhelmed them that's one of the meanings of this card but um, you know for some if they're involved with someone else that this you know threatens their happy home but um, there's definitely going to be um, an aftermath or there is an aftermath that this person is dealing with regard to this connection so your feelings towards this person is the ace of pumpkins so you have very strong grounded feelings for this person you feel like ecstatic towards this person you want to see something real in the 3d and the physical take place here you really have you know serious um, intentions towards this person you'd probably like to um, marry this person down the line maybe you would like to propose something to them but you have like I said with the two of ghosts um, serious emotions a lot of love and um, you want to offer them something substantial whether that be money or um, you know practical support of some kind and um, perhaps you you met through work for some of you that could apply but um, it really is a card about a practical approach to the connection so even though you have a lot of love for this person you're also seeing it in a practical sense as well and your person's um, feelings towards you are the five of bats in reverse which is the five of swords in reverse so the five of um, bats in reverse is similar to the five of swords um, uh, upright you know they're, they're not that different um, and upright it means you know an adjustment a loss or a defeat it, it talks about somebody bullying a situation um, in order to win at any cost and that causing other people to walk away from the situation so your person you know this is in reverse for your person so it's talking about them having regrets if they've done this to you in the past if they've done something wrong or um, if they walked away from you or if they bullied you and that caused you to walk away they have regrets about that I see that you are you know feeling a lot of love for this person regardless but um, they want to make repairs or reparations they feel they've wronged you in some way so after some conflict after some suffering they caused you they want to make reparations and we saw that already with the five of imps in, in reverse so this is just validating that um, they are mourning the loss of some relationship and regretting a decision maybe you had an argument um, maybe this person feels betrayed or take it vice versa however it applies but um, constructive changes are needed here and this person I feel is ready to make those and that's how they're feeling towards you wanting to right some wrong they did to you so in the past position we have the seven of pumpkins so that's all about um, waiting preparation you guys have planted some seeds and you're watching them grow you're patiently pruning all that doesn't uh, suit the situation and um, waiting for those fruits to come in patiently you know just kind of waiting for that to come to fruition and, and that was in the past so um, you did have growth in the connection in the past and, and um, invested both of you I feel invested here and we're very patient um, waiting for this crop to come in the crop of your relationship but I think you felt that it was too long it took too long to warm up or they did or that it wasn't making enough progress but um, you know I feel like you've continued to take small steps and little by little you're seeing you know you started to see things improve in the past you were very patient there but at present there does appear to be some sort of a separation or a disconnection emotionally or otherwise with the lovers in reverse this can talk about interference from outside um, parties so um, that might resonate with some of you but it is saying you know there is something a conflict within your person I feel 
um, at, between you know their heart and their mind about this connection and this is something that they're trying to um, overcome I think they've resisted it with the tower in reverse but now you know with this being in the major arcana card tower being a major arcana they just kind of don't have a choice it's time you know destiny stepping in for them to sort of unite these opposing forces within themselves and create harmony and cooperation in themselves and that will be reflected in the connection but um, in the meantime you know there is some discontent and separation from this person um, and, or maybe things just aren't really going you know the way that you'd like them to um, at present, somebody might be feeling rejected. Maybe this person rejected you, and, and this is what they regret. Um, again, if that's not the case, it could be separation from, you know, responsibilities, location. One of you lives in a different state or different part of the world, or um, there has been some um, manipulation here or, or some incompatibility in this connection. But I feel that this card um, is indicating that there is a potential still for the connection because. Um, healing efforts are being made and in the future position we have the Emperor this is an Aries energy card so that could be in somebody's chart this is the Divine Masculine the Divine Masculine is somebody who is in charge they um, the Emperor upright is a very positive figure there's somebody that likes to be in control but not in an oppressive way generally speaking it's more of that kind of nurturing nurturing energy trying to do what's best for everyone involved um, taking control and uh, in a way that they feel will help you know get the best results and create win-win situation but um, it isn't an authoritative person you know they they do they can be you know controlling or whatnot but I'm not really getting that in the future position I'm feeling like this is um, the divine masculine of this connection who who is growing to a more mature person who's going to be wanting that stable relationship um, and that you will have that stable relationship um, in the future together. Also, this talks about um, a connection that is based in uh, practical matters like money. We already saw that with the Ace of Pentacles and um, in status. And it does speak about um, loyalty and commitment in the future in a partnership with this person. We've got the Judgment card as your outcome. So the Judgment is about a wake-up call. I see this with the Tower card. I think your person was the one that needed the wake-up call. And this is where, you know, you've both judged the situation and ju judged yourself within the situation and, and made a decision here. And that is to resurrect this connection. The Judgment card is about second chances. It's about... Um, it's about forgiveness. So if there isn't, if there's forgiveness that's needed, this person wants your forgiveness, as we've already seen. You know, it's up to you whether or not you want to forgive this person or not. But you're coming out as the two of ghosts, so I'm going to guess that yeah, you do want to forgive this person and um, move forward here because um, there's a, a there's a lot of love here in the connection and a lot of potential here. I'm seeing. So the choice is going to be made and. Um, and this is a connection where you're both growing and uh, becoming more aware, self-aware as well. And, um, and and you will both be more tolerant and less judgmental of yourselves um, and of each other in the connection going forward in the future. Okay. So I think that was pretty direct and to the point. I'm going to go ahead and pull a message from your person card just for the fun of it. Not that we need really much clarification, but why not? Let's think about your person. This will be a channeled message from your person. I let other people put doubts in my head about you. Okay, so evidently that was what this person is wanting to come towards you with the five of um, bats in reverse and make an apology or make reparations for, make it, make it up to you, the fact that they let other people put doubts in their head about you. But as we see in the future, you do have um, a reconciliation or um, just taking this to the next level and having a, you know, a substantial and loving partnership ahead of you. Now I'm going to pull three of the sexual magic tarot cards. 
Let's see what this, um, you know, what your person feels about you sexually. If you don't wish to see this part, you can go ahead and click off. we've got the um, eight of cups oops stay up the queen of wands they think you're very sexy very hot and the five of pentacles so what I'm getting with the eight of cups is that you know in the traditional tarot that's talking about walking away and as I indicated before you know, they um, walked away in this connection. It looked like somebody did. Either it was you or it was them. The, the meanings are somewhat different in, in um, the tarot of sexual magic. So, you know, the meaning for the, um, the Eight of Cups here. Just give me a minute. I'll look that up. It looks like um, this is saying that uh, this is the magic bundle of the, this, the, the thistle. So bashful. They may be seeing you as bashful. Um... And this person needs to uh, get to know your character, despite the fact that um, you might be reserved or bashful, or, or they might be reserved. And so um, I feel like it's probably you might be a little um, reserved. And so it says that, you know, beneath the thorns, you find the right choice, an honest and sincere person. So while um, somebody is shy here, there is an honest and sincere person underneath with the Eight of Cups. And then with the Queen of Wands. In traditional tarot, we know that the Queen of Wands, she is, you know, one of the most uh, attractive queens in in the tarot deck. If not the most attractive, definitely very um, hot and passionate, as the wands um, represent represent fire. So the um, Queen of Wands is in this deck magic of the entwined rings honesty and devotion between partners are born of, born of daily pleasures you must seduce your partner every day as if it were always for the first time so i think this person just likes to look at you they might be a boob person if it's a masculine um if you're here for a feminine she likes to undress in front of you she likes to tease you a little bit um there's definitely a visual component to this as you can see by looking at the card and the um, sense of keeping the romance and the passion alive by um, engaging in flirtation throughout the day. Just little things like undressing in front of one another, allowing your partner to watch. Even though there's a sense here of bashfulness, I think that what's underneath that bashfulness for the feminine is someone who is just kind of fiery and hot, or at least this is what the masculine is thinking. And if it's the masculine who is bashful, then he might like to watch you, you know, when you don't, when you least expect it. Because, um, but you, you're you aware that they're watching, um, but you just let them save, save face and don't call them out on it because they're a little shy to come forward at this time. And then with the Five of Pentacles um, as the last sexual magic card, we've got this couple here um, kind of hiding away. Um, in a romantic embrace and um, hidden away stealing a kiss from one another so what this means here in uh, the tarot of sexual magic is um, completeness the magic of the rose and the violin okay so it says you cannot give up on transforming the world around you and making it more similar to your ideals after all, the world is the home of your love. Okay, so completeness. You're, you complete one another. And it's saying that, uh, that that she shouldn't give up on this connection. Because, um, you know, the world shouldn't impact uh, you. And I think that your person is realizing this. Because we saw in their message that they... Um, 
they let other people put doubts in their heads about you and so that affected this connection but now they realize instead of letting others affect the connection and the love that you have they need to affect others with the love that you have and in other words stay strong in their feelings for you and not let other people influence them and that's what this card is saying as well that you can have your ideals together and, and that the world is the home of your love so regardless of how the world rejects or accepts your connection for whatever reasons you know this love is going to exist regardless okay very good I like that reading all right tell me what you think about the tarot sexual magic cards in the comment section if you don't mind and if you haven't liked and subscribed please do so hit the bell notification uh, to receive notifications when I upload a new video also you know if this doesn't didn't resonate with you um, try you can try another reading or another pile or you know the best uh, way to get a reading that really resonates with you is to get a private personal reading and my contact information is in the description box below all right thanks for watching All right, welcome. This is you and your person reading. So I'm going to do a standard relationship spread for whoever you came here about. I'm going to look at your feelings for towards one another, your past, present, future, and outcome. At the end of the reading, I'm going to pull some tarot of sexual magic cards to see how they look at you sexually. And as that's a new deck for me, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to clarify with messages from your person cards. Or any other cards that need clarification, okay? So think about your person. And at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pumpkins in reverse so that's an um, earth sign energy could be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and he's usually somebody that's a businessman good with money um, when he's in reverse he's not as good with money <laughs> but he does still have that potential so this is the underlying um, energy of this reading here so it's, it's generally a uh, energy of um, you know some delays or obstacles, particularly with regard to material success. You're seeing this come together in the 3D. Um, somebody here is looking like they're pretty insecure, or there could be um, you know a stuck energy. Somebody is wanting to get out of a rut here. So let's see. Let's look further into this. So your energy is coming out as the Seven of Pumpkins. And the seven of pumpkins is the seven of coins or pentacles it's an earth sign energy i feel that you're waiting patiently for this person you um, have planted the seeds you've watered carefully you've pruned so you're removing the elements um, in this connection that hinder its growth and and you're you're getting rid of that which doesn't serve you and you're holding on to that which does and you're waiting for this connection to pay off because you've been putting in the effort and, and you've been diligent okay I think you really appreciate this person, um, but uh, yeah, that, that's basically, it, it's taking a long time to warm up, which you already saw, you know, the underlying energy is um, that of, uh, of delays, unfortunately, but um, this card doesn't, you know, say that you feel that this is going to, um, that this is going to progress as long as you are persistent and continue taking small steps little by little things are going to improve this is your energy towards the connection your person's energy towards the connection is the seven of bats in reverse so the seven of bats in reverse is the seven of swords in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse speaks about an apology so somebody in, in, behaved impetuously or did something without thinking um, either that or the opposite is true. You know, they were too afraid to act. This is their energy towards the connection, but I feel like your person wants to come clean about a mistake that they did and make it up to you. Um, maybe they're experimenting with different plans or getting various points of view on how to do this. But it is about apologizing for a mistake. And so 
maybe you know they betrayed you or, or uh, manipulated you hurt you in some way or it could be that they were uh, betrayed or hurt by you or someone else in their life and this is what they're needing to overcome but I do feel like um, you know they might be someone who takes um, risks without thinking and, and so you might be the more steady person in the connection that helps them to not be such a risk taker whatever the case may be so that's our um, energy towards the connection now your feelings towards your person specifically the nine of ghosts upright so the nine of ghosts is saying that you feel like you, well you have a lot of emotion for this person a lot of strong emotion for this person you feel like you've coming to the end of a cycle here in terms of um, getting ready to to start something new or another cycle in this connection I think you think of this person as your uh, your wish fulfillment your your wish come true this person is good luck to you you feel like they bring you happiness and you know abundance generosity or you feel very generous towards them um, if you just look at this person this ghost or <laughs> skeletons big smile on their face that's basically how you feel warmth love and good cheer when this person's around you'd be like to have a good time go out drinking or just being in their company makes you happy I feel like whatever the case is, you know, you're wanting, you know, a committed relationship and um, you might have, you might have options in your love life, in your romantic life, but I feel that you primarily want this person and, and that's how you're feeling towards them. Your person's feelings towards you, the seven of imps in reverse, so seven of imps in reverse, you know, that's the seven of wands. So I think that your person feels overwhelmed by the connection. Um, I think they're confused here. We already saw that they did something that, they, um, that they've that they been hurt or they hurt you. But either way, they're feeling like they need to make something up to you. And so um, there's some confusion around how to handle that. And how to handle your uh, challenges or their challenges regarding you and regarding their feelings for you. And so I, you know, I think they just lack clarity, and um, and this drains their willpower, and that makes them feel like giving up at times because they are confused. But um, you know, if they were to to give up, it wouldn't um, be about you; it'd be more just about their own um, not being up to up to the challenge because they've done something that's that they feel is so wrong that they don't know how they can um, bounce back from that. Or they just simply don't know how to settle the differences between you. Okay. But they do have passionate feelings for you as the wands cards do represent passion. So in the past position, we've got the page of imps in reverse. So the page of imps is talking about a, you know, more confusion. There has been confusion regarding communication in this connection. So some, some difficulties communicating. This person evidently doesn't know how much you feel for them. You obviously feel a lot for them, yet they maintain, you know, they continue to be confused. Now, maybe they're just not that bright, but they are, um, they're confused, or at least, you know, there's some mix-up or some disappointment. Maybe the the hurt that was caused to this person or that they caused you, or feel that they've caused you, was simply due to a mix-up or a disappointment, that it wasn't um, anything that was actually done wrong, and just a misunderstanding. But in the past, it wasn't the right time to um, start or continue this connection, and um, again, this is a card about this person not being up to the task, or you not being up to the task, but I feel like it's your person because you are very diligent. You're showing up diligent in this reading. But um, this is a card that indicates childish behaviors, hang-ups from childhood that interfere with the relationship, or unrealistic expectations that cause a lack of commitment in the connection. So there's lack of commitment there. Next, in the present position, or the soon-to-be position, is the Ten of Imps in reverse. That's the Ten of Wands in reverse. So the Ten of Wands in a relationship reading is often about taking responsibility. And um, I feel that, you know, even with it being in reverse, this relationship may become uh, more balanced and more secure. So I feel like if your person is the one that's coming out as being the confused one, they're going to feel more certain about your commitment and are going to know where they stand with you and as a result um, their burdens are going to be lifted about this connection and they're going to feel less weight on their shoulders about it and so maybe you're going to pitch in you know to sort of let this person know how you feel about them maybe that's going to be 
um, the case or they're just going to see you know how diligent and um, persistent you've been in the connection but um, they are gonna feel you know lighter regarding this connection and, and um, I think that the delegation of tasks between the two of you in the connection the give and take will become more equal um, going forward here and this is actually coming out as your present energy so take what resonates but this is a card about setting boundaries for yourself so that you have more freedom so that you can be in this connection and still free at feel free at the same time I feel like you do feel free um, with this person and so this is saying that you will have a more balanced connection while still uh, feeling more free but it will you know become more responsible which is good because in the past it wasn't um, and, and uh, the Sun in reverse is in the future position here so the Sun is always a positive card even when it comes out in reverse it sort of softens any negative cards that are around it card up, the uh, Sun upright is about pleasure and uh, clarity self-expression and happiness um, and when it is in reverse you know it just might mean that your happiness going forward might be a little bit less than what you expected you'll still be happy but it's like it's like a four-star re review versus a five-star review this is going to be a four-star review for this relationship in the future if that makes sense so it's still going to be good um, I think there's still going to be a lack of self-confidence on, on the part of your person um, then you know more so because this is in reverse and um, again this sense of not believing they deserve the attention respect and the success that's offered to them they just think you're too good to be true that this relationship you know is just too good to be true and, and that they don't deserve it that could be you know part of their issue here but um, so and as a result of that you know when people are insecure they tend to be dramatic so you know there's some drama indicated with this card people letting their egos get the better of them that it interferes with the happiness a bit and um, it also can warn about getting too much of a good thing overindulging you, you guys like to go out and have a good time together you might want to just take it a little bit easy on that so it's not excessive don't overindulge in pleasures at the expense of other things you know you want to not focus so much on superficial things like money's looks and having a good time um, those things are fine but make sure you balance that out with uh, more meaningful aspects of the relationship like intimacy and friendship and um, consideration for one another is what this card is saying okay that's in the future so for the outcome we've got the hanged man in reverse so the hanged man in reverse is saying you know that I feel like things are going to be moving because the hanged man upright is a card of stagnation it's somebody that's sort of hanging out um, and when it's in reverse you know it's more or less coming out of that um, but it does still continue to talk about um, you know a little bit of um, indecision you know in the outcome and it's saying that you know to, to, to move forward you know somebody's got to look within you both might need to be the ones that need to look within and listen to your inner voice regarding you know navigating this connection so listening to your intuition instead of your ego um, as we saw in, in the future that the ego is going to be an issue here and so you really need to pay attention to your real needs um, to avoid frustration and just know that you know you're not sacrificing unnecessarily in the connection that both of you are giving equally and that you continue to deal with whatever um, hang-ups that the two of you can have as individuals and um, and maintain you know being truth truthful and true to yourselves so I feel that um, you know there might be some, some bad habits that will affect the um, the outcome in the long in the long run or some some behaviors that um, uh, one or both of you are not willing to give up that um, could potentially harm the connection so just be alert um, alert and aware of that keep an eye out for that and then make adjustments as needed okay otherwise there's a potential that you one or both of you might outgrow this connection in in the distant future if um, if bad habits or behaviors that that harm the connection aren't dealt with and um, in a way that works for both of you so I'm going to go ahead and pull um, a message from your person card. Let's think about your person. 
And let's see what we can get here. This is going to be from your person's higher self, or it might actually be something that a person has said to you or will say to you in the future. I'm sorry I was dishonest and selfish to you. Okay, so I guess that answers the question about um, why this person is is feeling overwhelmed in this connection, and why they feel with the seven of bats in reverse that they owe you an apology. They were dishonest and selfish to you. All right, so I'm going to pull the um, tarot of sexual magic cards and see what your person, um, how your person views you sexually. If you don't wish to view this part, you can click off the reading. Otherwise. Hang tight. We've got the judgment card. Wow. That, that card just forced its way out. So as you can see on the card, this person sees you as somebody they could have a family with. They view you as a family, that this is a spiritually guided union. Let's get a couple more cards. So we've got the Six of Wands. Your person feels like having you, you're, that you're a conquest. and um, Or that you're someone that, um, that wants to, to, to conquer them. And then we've got the Temperance card. So you've got two major arcanas here. A lot of um, universal energy in this connection. Very strong energies here. And so... In the, the traditional tarot, the Temperance card is about uh, love and uh, passion blossoming in the connection. And so the tarot of sexual magic does have its own um, meanings, supplemental meanings to the different cards here. So for, for the Judgment card, this is love at first sight, the magic, the magic of sound. Sound changes the level of the spirit. The unexpected bur bursts forth to transform a stagnant situation. So there is going to be an infusion of energy to the situation that's stagnated, and so you're going to see some action taking place, some really, um, some really big action here. A second chance, third chance, whatever the case may be. Okay, and um, with the uh, with the Temperance card. This is called, cause, called discontent, filter of love. Friendly but cool relations to be warmed up with the magic of plants. Uh -huh. The filter of love sparks a slumbering desire and restores harmony in the relationship. So I do feel um, there is a blossoming. I did say blossoming, and this card is talking about plants. So a blossoming within this connection, a renewal here. We've got renewal here, and we've got renewal here. So it's very nice blossoming of, of the connection and uh, another chance and, and things are going to start moving according to the judgment card, okay? And there's going to be love sparks and, you know, if they're, the desires and the connection have been subdued, that's going to be rejuvenated as well as harmony being restored here with the temperance card. And this person, um, they see you, you know, as a sort of like a very balanced almost like an angelic person if you're the feminine and it could be and if you're the masculine as well we all have masculine and feminine traits okay and with the six of wands here we see this guy sort of um, reaching touching this woman's ass it could be an ass man here <laughs> Maybe the masculine likes it when you wear when you wear dresses, when you when you wear knee high boots. As if you are here for a feminine, you know, she likes it when you touch when you touch her derriere. And um, yeah. 
She likes you to take action. So the, the Six of Wands, according to Tarot Sexual Magic, is touching the, the magic of the hair and the dove, growing closer, growing apart, diluting, confirming. Every game of pleasure must end and doubts must be dispelled. So basically it's saying there's like a game of back and forth here in this connection. And this kind of builds up the desire within, within you. Um, this back and forth energy so that when you know absence makes the heart grow fonder when you do reconnect um, then it's more passionate as a result of that okay and that's what the six of wands is saying and this is how your person is seeing it as well but um, it, it's a game of pleasure for them and um, the, the doubts you know at the end of the game is going to be pleasure and their doubts will be dispelled so we did see that you know there were doubts in the connection however those doubts are going to be dispelled according to the six of wands so i hope that was able to give you some clarification on your reading i do like these tarot of sexual magic and take a little while to get used to but if you liked the uh, this deck let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't already please like share and subscribe if this reading didn't resonate with you or only resonated partially and you'd like a personal private reading that looks at your specific situation my contact information is in the description box below thanks for watching